as contrasted to the fickle human attempts at love. I just want to put my finger down my throat and gag when I hear about people giving testimonies of their love for God, love for Jesus. Oh, how I love Jesus. Really? You got five minutes? Let's find out which Jesus we're talking about. Let's, talk, let's sit down and talk about which God we're talking about here. And I'll guarantee you, within five minutes, that person that's, oh, how I love Jesus is going to be looking at you in the face and saying, I don't love that Jesus. I don't love that God. Well, guess what? There's not two gods. There's not two Jesus. But people have been fooled, deceived, and deluded because their preachers are fooled, deceived, and deluded into some general love of God. Oh, he loves you he, just like he loves everybody. You've heard me make that comment before. If I came home and my wife asked me, honey, do you love me? And I said to her, Honey, you know I love you just like I love all the women in the world. I'd have to step back for the slap. That's not love. Love is particular. That's how God loves sinners, those that he's chosen and Christ paid the debt. Not some general love. But this is how his love was manifest. That's how God's love is manifest. Think about what it took for God to be just to justify it took him killing his own son. I recently had a comment on Sermon Audio on a message I'd preached on this very point where someone very angrily said, what kind of God are you preaching that would actually take his son and kill him in order to say that he loves sinners? Well, a just God, a holy God, the only God. And that if Christ should pay the debt, Oh, what a dead it was.